Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, take a look at 7-Zip uh, 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 Portable here today. So usually if you installed 7-Zip on your computer, what would happen is you would get a right-click that you could do all kinds of things with. But as a portable app, what you have to do is actually launch into the full program uh, and, then, um, and then do things from there. So let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look. Um, okay, so this is an example here of how the how the um, how the interface looks okay so we can go ahead and um, we navigate to the folder we want to work in okay so it's a good example let's say that I was working on tutorials obviously today uh, so let's say that I went to um, <clears throat> my scratch tutorials here scratch is just a program okay let's say that I want to create an archive with this and remember an archive is just a file that contains other files so we want to go ahead and um, uh, select the files here, and we can go ahead and um, and click Add to create an archive. Okay, so this comes up um, now. The most used uh, zip uh, archive format for Windows platform is zip. Okay, so uh, while 7z is the kind of the the uh, format that is used by 7zip only. Uh, zip is a much more um, uh, much more used format. So this is the one you're going to want to use. It, say if you're sending files to another person. So we chose just to go ahead and choose Zip, um, and then we um, just leave everything else the same and click OK. Okay, so it compresses it, and this is the resulting file right here. It just puts it right in the same directory. Um, we accepted the default name for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that. Or actually, we can go ahead. Now, let's say we have the zip file, and now we want to extract it. Okay, and extract means to take that archive file and turn it back into its component files. Okay, so we can go ahead and highlight it, and then click extract. Now, this works the same for zip files, 7-zip files, or 7-z files. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and do that. Click OK there. Okay, and we have our scratch. It creates a scratch folder, and notice inside there are component files that we had before. Okay, now there's a second thing that 7-Zip does that uh, isn't done by a lot of uh, Zip utilities. It's actually why we're using it in this course, and that is because uh, it can create multiple part, um, multiple part archives. So let's take a look at one of these multiple part archives. So you see here we have uh, CloneZilla was a program. Okay, it was a very large file, you know, 700 megabytes. So we needed to, uh, to we needed to not only compress it, but then into split it into smaller pieces. So you'll notice that each piece of this zip of this seven zip archive is 52 megabytes, 52 megabytes, and six megabytes. So basically, it's split it into regular pieces, and then the last piece was anything that was left over. So these three files actually will uncompress, you know, um, or extract to be one single file. So let's go ahead and do that now. We just select. You can tell which one the first file is because it's .7z.001. We click Extract, click OK, and it's going to go ahead. It's going to obviously take longer because it's uh, because it is uh, <coughs> uh, processing quite a lot more information. Okay, so it's just going to go ahead and do its thing here. It's working, and okay, so there it is. So now we see that it's created this folder. Um, okay, so it's got Clonezilla 7z. We could have changed the name of that folder. Okay, and then inside, this is the file that was um, was compressed uh, earlier. Okay. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, basically, that is how we would. Um, we would create archives and extract archives. Um, okay, um, let's say that we wanted to actually, uh, um, if, we, if you want to take a quick look at just how you'd um, split things up, uh, let's take a look at um, uh, just any file that we want. Let's say we want to split this file up into a number of different archives, right? Because we want it to be smaller pieces. Maybe we have a small flash drive. Maybe we have a small so storage. Maybe there's a website that only lets us upload a certain amount of stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that. 
Okay, so if we want to split things up into smaller pieces, we'd select uh, 7Z, okay, as our, as our archive format, and then we go down to split into volumes, and split into volumes, let's say we want to split this into 5 megabyte volumes, so it'd be 5M. Okay, so let's go ahead and click OK. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and split that into multiple volumes. Okay, and basically it results in a, just a few files. Okay, so there we go. So these are the files we just made there. And if I was to go ahead and upload those or send these files, uh, then I have to send obviously all four of them, but then they could be extracted into our original file. Okay, so good luck with 7-Zip. It's a great utility.